basic stones. In your basic stance, let's spread out through our feet. Sweep relaxation up through low legs into knees, bend your knees, keep the knees soft and relaxed. Sweeping relaxation upwards through upper legs, bring the hips into neutral, tailbone comes gently down towards the ground. We can extend through the crown of the head even more. Take a deep breath in here, expand the belly with the breath, ribcage expands. And as you breathe out, let's sink down deeper into body, coming down from busy mind, quietening mind, coming down into body. Really feel all the sensations through your body as you bring your body into alignment. Breathing out into stillness. Deep breath in. This time, as we breathe out, oh, it's so good to be joined by you all online. It's so amazing to connect this way. <laughs> Let's bring our hip out to the side. Bend through your knee, lengthen through your waist. We can elevate the arms to the side. Let's bring the hip through center and out to the other side. So bring that releasing, stretching movement all the way through. This time we can make that bit faster perhaps, smoother perhaps, as we flow all the way through one side to the other, passing through center, and all the while adding that bend to the knees. Nice. Into the center here. Anchoring through your low half, we can extend that movement now through the upper half. So that anchoring technique we did in previous classes, so you can revise that if you'd like to on the playback on our YouTube playlist for Belly Basics. So using those anchoring muscles, really connecting with those muscles today, we still have an element of that full moon energy, that eclipse full moon. It's a really powerful one, Sagittarius. So that energy is still there. And so with that, you might find that your hips have perhaps rotated slightly more than usual. It might be so subtle you don't even notice it. We are as connected to the moon as the ocean. And it can have a pronounced, quite an incredible effect on our posture. Well, in fact, on your entire being. <laughs> Let's bring that movement in here. Let's flow with that ocean, the waves. And rolling the shoulder back. Elbow comes to the sky and then down to the ground. We're flowing that energy all the way through. Make it big. Wow. And then we can lower the hands gently down. Add that sway of hips. And we're going to bring the hips down to circle motion. Bring your hip out to the side. Bring it back. Keep it in neutral. Just level parallel with the ground, bring it out to the side, bring it all the way to the front, to the side, bring it back, to the side, bring it forward, to the side, back, side, bring it forward, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Other direction, we're gonna slide out to the side, bring it back to the side. Forward. 
forward side, take it back to the side, bring it forwards all the way around, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Here we're gonna bring the hip on a figure of eight motion, slide diagonal, bring it round towards the back. We're gonna anchor through the upper half, use the anchoring technique for upper half, all the way around. Bring the hips into center here. We're gonna reverse the direction of that movement. So let me turn this down slightly. And so that was with the forwards motion there, bring the hip back forwards, travel it back. I'm gonna reverse that motion. So bring your hips in center and you're in that basic stance that you have all the way in alignment through your whole body. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna twist the hip to bring your right hip back. And then we're gonna slide diagonal backwards, bring it all the way round towards the front. On the other side, we're gonna slide the hip back and twist all the way around towards the front. Now notice that my hips are neutral here. They're not out like this. The tailbone is tucked under. You've used your pelvic floor muscles to help you with that. Relax through your back as much as you can. And that ensures that you're being really careful and considerate and kind to the muscles of your back, but also the aesthetic is much cleaner. It's clearer and I guess all the more refined. So we can bring the hip into this motion here, bring it forwards and back. So we've got slide forwards, twist back, slide forwards, twist back. Or we can slide the hip back, twist forwards, slide back, twist forwards, slide back, twist forwards. And as you do that, you want to make sure that your knees are nice and soft relaxed and you're not gripping onto the floor with your toes too much. Feet are quite nice and relaxed. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you are someone who finds that you you end up gripping the floor with your feet, something that can be really, really helpful in relaxing through your feet and also encouraging alignment through the whole body and also protecting your knee is something like what I'm wearing just now, a foot glove. And you'll see those there, they have suede on the bottom and through the toes, you have the freedom to really feel that sensation, the connection with the ground. But they give you a bit of protection. Nice. So I actually have some of these in stock. If you'd like a pair, feel free to comment down below and I can send you the link. So we got that forwards motion. And then you also got the reverse. We're gonna take it back, forwards, back, forwards. So this is a horizontal eight. It's parallel with the ground. We call it an eight, although maybe it's more like an infinity sign. You've taken that eight on its side and then you've placed it down on the ground in front of you. Imagine that you've stepped onto that and you're marking that movement out with your hips. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can reverse from here, pass through center. Nice, well done. Let's try the other way, forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards, back. Let's come the other way, back, forwards. Well done, woohoo! Take a deep breath in. Coming back into center, back into neutral. So that's a figure of eight through your hip. Now what you can do is a figure of eight through your rib cage. So with the rib cage in neutral and your whole body in alignment in that basic stance, we're gonna twist through the waist to bring this time the rib cage on a diagonal. Now you're gonna slide forwards Keep your hips there. You're using pelvic floor muscles to anchor. Those are the main key muscles to anchor your hips at the moment. Again, relax your knees with a bend in the knees and try not to grip onto the floor too much. 
And then we're gonna slide the rib cage on diagonal forward. So I'm just bringing my hands here so that you can really see what we're doing here. We're gonna bring it all the way around. This time, we're gonna lead to the side, bring it round, slide and twist, slide and twist, slide and twist. And you're gonna try as best you can, keep your hips facing forwards, twist round, slide forwards and twist, forwards and twist. Good, one, two, three, four. So your hips, of course, will move a little, but the aim is to really bring that movement through that twist of the waist and the slide on diagonal. That diagonal slide, you've got this mobility of your spine that you're utilizing to bring the lower section of your rib cage on diagonal and outward. So the biggest part of the movement, try and make that be through the lower section of your rib cage and then bring it all the way round to the back. And then on this side, we're gonna come diagonal, bring it forwards and twist all the way round to the back. Slide forwards, twist back. Slide forwards, twist back. Slide forwards, twist back. Slide forwards, twist back. Nice, so forwards and back. Twist forwards and back. Forwards, twist back. Of course, with this one, we can do exactly the same thing and change the direction. And this can be quite fun to play around with as well. So bring your feet into neutral, the whole body into alignment. Bend through your knees, relax through your feet. We've elevated slightly through the rib cage in this one, just to bring that healthy element of expansion. So this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna twist to bring the rib cage back. So whichever side you want to start on, that's absolutely fine. Let's bring that on a diagonal and then you're gonna slide all the way back. Bring it all the way out and round to the side. And then you're gonna bring the rib cage back on diagonal that way. Bring it all the way round. So if you're facing square on in the room that you're in, you could use the corners of the room to mark out the directions that you want to travel. So you could travel right towards the back corner of the room, bring it all the way around towards the top corner, and then on the other side, bring it to the back corner of the room and bring it all the way around towards the front. Let's try that a little bit faster. So lots of people find this direction trickier. I wonder why that is. Let's have a little ponder of that. Why would this one be trickier? See how it feels within your body. some answers to that question in the comments on YouTube. But I'll let you have a little chance to answer first of all. Whee! You might want to try bring your hands on your head as you do this one. This is a really, really amazing movement for toning and strengthening through the muscles of waist, belly, and back. You're literally knitting the muscles of your waist back together again. So untrained, the muscles can sit a bit like this, and they can also sit like this after, maybe if somebody has had a baby, then the muscles can sit like this wide apart. And this movement, this action, literally knits those muscles together again. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's try. Bring it forwards, forwards, twist back. Slide forwards, twist back. Forwards, back, forwards, back. We're gonna reverse that this time. We're gonna bring it back. Twist forwards, back. Twist forwards, back. 
twist forwards, back, twist forwards, reverse, forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards, back. You could bring the hands to where it feels good for you. Maybe relax through your arms and shoulders. Let's reverse it, back, forwards, squeeze. And let's bring in an element of play here. Let's play with that movement down on hips. So we're gonna bring the hips forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards, back. Whee! And then the other way, back, forwards, back, forwards, back, forwards, back. Maybe, just maybe, you could have a little play with traveling with it. Come forwards, forwards, twist. Forwards, twist. Take it back, back, twist. And this is moving into almost an element of an advanced movement or intermediate. But bringing in that element of traveling right towards the beginning of your belly dance journey whee, can be really hugely beneficial in linking movements together. Bring it forwards. You could bring in some arms here. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Whee! Bring it back. Wow. All right, let's come into the upper half and bring that movement. Three, four, reverse. One, two, three, four. Other way, one, two. Four, back, four, three, two, and one into center. Help yourself to a little spot of hydration. Really nice to keep those muscles topped up. And when we come back, we're going to enjoy a vertical movement this time. That was a horizontal. Let's try vertical. Amazing. <laughs> Right, so coming back in then. We're gonna work with that hip drop that we had. So we're gonna lift the hip up. We're in neutral here. Again, hips are tucked under. That's gonna stop you from feeling sore in the coming days, but also the movement is gonna sit better on your body and it's gonna flow so much easier. So we're gonna bring this framing of arms. We're gonna lift the hip up and then we're gonna drop it down, just releasing the weight of your own body, releasing your hip, utilizing gravity. Gravity wants to assist you here. So we're gonna lift up, release, lift, release. And on that release, we're using that release through knees, allowing the knees to just drop that hip down. And there's this lengthening through the waist that happens, and that can only happen when you're relaxed through there. So you're contracted automatically through all of your core muscles, deep internal muscles, but the superficial muscles, your external obliques and at your waist are actually really nice and relaxed there. Let's try that on the other side. So we're here, again, tuck the hips under, bring this really big bend through your knees. All right, so let's try here. We're gonna lift, lift up, release, up, release, up, Release, up, release. So lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Try to keep your height nice and steady. Lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. You can feel this beginning to warm your body, I'm sure. Bring it into center. We're gonna drop one side, then the other. And bring your hands up. Take a deep breath in as you bring the hands down. We're soft and relaxed through the hips. Soft, relaxed through the knees. Allow the waist to lengthen. Keep your height nice and steady. And we're using those strong core muscles to help us not come out to the side like this. It's steady and center. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 
well done. <laughs> Bit faster if you want to, if it feels right for you right now. We yes. Nice. Let's try one, two. So here you've got the option of that flick of the foot. Let's try the other side, and then I'm going to talk to you about that movement. Nice. Here we go. So what you did then, with that flick of the foot, what you did was you had one regular hip drop, and then you're going to lift the hip up, and on the second hip drop, what you're going to do is allow that energy to transfer all the way down towards the tips of your toes. So you don't stop the energy, you allow it to flow all the way through. And there's this little bit of a rotation through your femur, in the hip socket. So there's this little action of rotation and that is really healthy to allow that. But I don't want you to pronounce that rotation. I want you just to allow it to be a natural flow. So it's not a rigid movement here and it's not a hyperextension through your knee as you kick. It's a really relaxed, natural flow of that movement. It just happens to continue on. You just didn't stop the movement if you see what I mean. Okay, so if you have any questions on that, of course, do leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. Here we go, so we're gonna try, we're gonna drop down the hip, drop. This time we're gonna lift and then we're gonna drop with that rotational flick. Try it again, we're gonna lift the hip up, we're gonna drop and then we're gonna lift and drop with a flick. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to do that slowly we can get a little bit more momentum through our body if we go a little bit faster. So let's just try that now. So we're gonna go drop, flick, 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 drop, woohoo! Let's try that on the other side. Oh no, that was a bit crazy. That was maybe a bit too fast for you right now. Or was it? Maybe not. Let's try the other side, it was certainly fun. We're gonna drop the hip down, lift the hip up. This time we're gonna drop the hip down and allow that rotational flow. Let's try again, lift, drop, lift, flick. Lift, drop, lift, flick. Lift, drop, lift, flick. Lift, drop, lift, a bit faster. Lift, three, four, one, two. Try and make sure the hip remains on this up and down motion. What you might find is it wants to come on a diagonal like this, on a twist of the waist. Try and make that movement directly up and down. Nice. Well done. Good. <laughs> Bring it to center here. We got drop. Two, three, four. Drop, flick, drop, flick. Drop, flick, other side. Drop, flick, drop, flick, drop, flick. Into center. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Shimmy, two, three, four, four, three. Figure of eight, horizontal through the hip. Oh, <laughs> wow. Reverse it. Let's bring that into our upper half. Here we go. Forwards, twist back. It's like forwards, twist back. Forwards, twist, forwards, twist. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? Let's reverse, slide back, forwards, back. Forward, slide, twist, slide, twist. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, let's come into a circle of hip. Bring it all the way around. Take it back the other direction. Nice. And help yourself to a little spot of hydration. Stretch to go with those movements that we've done. We're going to bring one hand all the way around the 
other framing your face. I'm gonna lean into releasing stretch for the waist, bring the elbow back, really open up through your chest and through the waist. You could take that on diagonal, release through the back. Deep breath here. As you breathe out, we're gonna come all the way back into center. Bring it round to the other side. Releasing down through the waist. Lovely. Stretching out through the side. And then you can take that on diagonal there. Release through the back. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Deep breath here. I'm gonna come into a wide deep stance, bend through your knees. We're gently gonna sway across through one side. Come back in through center to the other side. Bring that gently into center here. Coming back into your basic stance. Take a moment to notice how connected you feel to your body now. How much more flexibility you have. And how much enjoyment there was from just some basic simple movements there done really, really carefully and lovingly for your body. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe and hit notifications so you can be informed of when the next video goes up. If you'd like to support the creation of these videos, remember you can head along to patreon.com forward slash Little Egypt Studio where you'll find a community of other enjoyers of these videos. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.